Good morning, YouTube. I was up at uh, like 5.30 this morning. <laughs> oh, wanting to slap these coils on here. Yesterday I got the um, stands hooked up and everything together and I just totally ran out of energy. Um, yeah, so I'm up ready to rock. I got them on there and I uh, wanted to make a video of it. Um, now first I want to say Oh, oh, first, first, first I want to say is that I turned up the um, input to the motor a little bit. <clears throat> now I have them wired just like Cromray had in his patent. And I have a switch on it, which is open right now. And it's giving around 45 volts AC. Um, so they're wired in series. Uh, first of all, these two coils are uh, wound in the same direction as one another and these two coils are wound in the same direction as one another but they're wound in opposite directions uh, this one is these two are clockwise and these two are counterclockwise and that's how Bedin or um, Cromery's patent reads to wire them up so start in series finish and then it comes up here to start here in series and then finish down there on the switch now just to note um, I'm going to try and make this quick but um, just to note the switch is open and with the normal generating system that's how you would do it right you get the motor started or whatever your prime mover is and then you're going to engage your um, generating coils right and close the circuit but otherwise it's going to be open with the system like this it's the opposite because the effect I'm getting uh, happens with using the current um, this isn't ideal like I have it open right now but on a system like this it would be the opposite so uh, to start it up you would e you would want the coils engaged either shorted to start when you start the motor or engaged right to the motor right or the load or whatever you're doing <clears throat> but to start it like this with the circuit open you would never ever want to do but I wanted to show it in the video and hence the reason why I had to turn it up a bit first let's show the oops, RPMs that beam I haven't been aiming the beam properly so should be able to do better at that so around 470 right and now I'm gonna engage the switch and the wheel immediately starts to speed up we're shorted through the switch the inputs going down pretty quickly already The wheel has sped up quite fast. Now again guys, I turned up, it's over 600 and it's going to keep climbing. Uh, that's, and it's a higher number because I had to, I turned up that input to start with. Because I wanted to op or start it with an open circuit. To sort of explain that, but also to show the full effect. So this is why this number is higher now. I really don't know what that's going to climb to. Ooh, devil. But, um... I got it hooked up, and I wanted to show you right away. Um, you know, I have lots and lots of ideas to, to work with this thing here. And to do, and I will be. And today I'm going to do more... Uh, I'm going out to check on Mr. Bigfoot's apple, so <laughs> we're going to do that here in about 30 minutes. But, um, wanted to show this. Um, it's really, it really speeds up. It's really reduced the input, even though I had turned it up. And it recovers really well. 
right? Now this is a dead short ideal situation. I just want to say, um, I think something people aren't realizing, I mean, I'm, it's a lot of work and this is not my forte and um, it's something that I have to work at and read and apply myself, right? Something I'm very, very interested in. But it's not hope and uh, I mean, I'm, I'm still doing this because I'm very certain this is going to go over unity. And I'll tell you the reason why. And I, I only say this because I get comments that I suspect are a little condescending from people who um, probably assume that I'm getting to a point of failure. <laughs> so not true. Um, and a lot of these, I don't think anyone has read the Cromery patent, or it hasn't been apparent to me in talking to people. But the most important thing he talks about in his patent is the fact that with this core arrangement, now this is designed just slightly different, but he's contacting both sides of a magnet. And now what happens with that, and he describes it in his patent, and the reason why it's important is because you, the current is so much stronger with this arrangement. He describes how if you slow the wheel, right now this right here right around 500 rpms is uh one third the frequency i had with the big wheel one third right and i'm going to be getting into input output testing and and to verify everything but i can see already um i still have uh at least two thirds of that current and um, we'll be looking at that, believe me. But I just want to explain that. That's not how conventional systems work. And if you read Cromery's patent, you'll get a better explanation than I just gave, right? I'm giving the, the YouTube explanation. But um, this, is, this is the important thing, is that right now, this wheel is, wheel is going only one third of the frequency that my big wheel had. But yet, this coil set right here is giving me a little more than two-thirds of the current still. And that's a very important point if you stop and think about it. And please read the crumb rate pattern. But anyways, still at it. Still lots to do. Um, I'm turning this off right now, and I'm going to see uh, what happened to the apples, though. There you go, wanted to make a quick video. I'm my slow ass finally got those two coil sets on there. And um, much more to do. M more videos to come. And um, I'm still rocking right down the path, guys. There you go. I'll talk to you in a bit. Bye. Take care.